take advantage is Matt Rodder. Thank you, uh, Dr. Huck, and it's a pleasure to serve under your chairship. And I'm grateful to speak in this very important debate today. I'd like to make three points in the time that's available to me. Uh, first of all, to add uh, my support to the uh, points made by the Honourable Member for Stoke North to pay tribute to the Gurkhas and their service to this country over nearly two, two centuries. Uh, to point out the high level of local support within Reading and Woodley um, for this community um, and their valued service. And also to call on the Minister, who I'm looking forward to hearing his, I'm looking forward to hearing his speech later, to respond in detail to the issues that have been raised. Um, first of all, Dr Huck, I would like to spend a few moments paying tribute to the Gurkhas. Uh, they have a long and loyal service to this country, and it's worth mentioning some of the, uh, the military history in, in, a, in a brief form. Uh, they were vital in World War I. It's less well known than their service in World War II. Um, they played a crucial role in the defence of India in World War II, and they've taken part in many recent conflicts defending this country and our interests overseas. Uh, these include, obviously, the Falklands and Afghanistan, and many others in between. We owe a debt of honour to these brave soldiers, and I do hope that the minister, who I obviously understand is a, a gallant gentleman, will respond in, in, a, in an appropriate way. I, I would like to point out, as other colleagues have today, the very high level of support in our community, and indeed to perhaps uh, dwell on some of the uh, measures from the, the community's own support for the Gurkhas. I also wanted to add that I was privileged some years ago to visit Nepal, and I would like to say that I was overwhelmed with the generosity of local people and the wonderful uh, support they have for foreign visitors to their beautiful country. Reading has a population of uh, nearly 3,000 uh, Gurkha and Nepalese people, as uh, the Honourable uh, Lady from Basingstoke mentioned, common in our part of southern England, close indeed to Aldershot. Um, many are retired Gurkhas, although not, until we, uh, not entirely. We have some um, highly skilled migrants from Nepal as well. Um, and many of them uh, live on relatively modest incomes. We have a number of pre-1997 pensioners living on very modest incomes in what is, I'm afraid to say, a high-cost area within the southeast of England. Many work in crucial local public services, as indeed other colleagues have, have, regarded, have referred to earlier, such as in the NHS at the Royal Berkshire Hospital, um, on Reading buses, where many serve as bus drivers, um, many other forms of public service as well, and indeed in local businesses, and we're proud to have many uh, small local businesses linked to the Gurkha community. I would like to pay a very special tribute to one particular former soldier, uh, Warrant Officer Guyan Raj Rai, who's played a crucial part in this campaign. And as other colleagues will have mentioned, indeed, uh, many of our colleagues here today will have met Guyan Raj Rai, um, because he's been on hunger strike not only once, but twice in the last 10 years. I first met him in 2013, when I was then the Labour parliamentary candidate in the Reading East constituency. And I have to say he is the most gallant gentleman and I would like to pay tribute to him and all the other local people who've taken part in this campaign. Uh, our hearts are with them, and we do wish them well in their endeavours. And he has conducted himself with the utmost gallantry and dignity in this very difficult period. And I should add that that includes, obviously, the recent hunger strike where he was outside uh, Number 10 Downing Street for a number of days, suffering greatly, um, as did the other hunger strikers. Uh, I would hope that the government will now hear this plea and do what other local communities in their own way have done to support our British Gurkhas. In Reading, we have um, excellent support from Reading Borough Council where they have given veterans priority um, in the council house waiting list. And we've had other support from charities and from the community, often forms of a wide range of forms of help, such as helping uh, elderly veterans, particularly their families, learn English and a number of other forms of support, and there's huge uh, support and appetite for continuing this and helping people to integrate into society in this country. And I hope, in his own way, the Minister will uh, reflect this when he comes to speak later. Um, so to conclude, I, I would like to uh, now ask the Minister to address these difficult issues. I appreciate this is hugely difficult and technical, as the Honourable Gentleman from Stoke North mentioned. But I do believe it is now high time for the government to investigate this further, to begin a dialogue with the Nepalese government, and to continue and deepen its dialogue with the veterans. And I look forward to this speech. Thank you, Dr. Huck. Okay, we've actually made.